What's up guys, Brandon Jay. Today, we're gonna be boat fishing out here on this farm pond. But first, we've gotta take the truck. We gotta do a little bit of mudding and off-roading to get to the main island where we're gonna find all the tilapia that hopefully we're gonna spear in today's video. Not interested. <laughs> so uh, basically these tilapia just repopulate so fast. All of these ponds just get completely saturated and overrun with fish. Uh, and so basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna find some of those fish and just try to take a couple. As always in any of my videos, anytime we take a fish, none of it's gonna go to waste. You're gonna see in today's video, we're also gonna fillet and freezer bag that fish right on the spot. I'm very proud of the old girl, man. She handled really, really well. Got the big old mud terrain BFGs on it, and uh, they just honestly ate through the mud. But I got some in the back I wanna show you guys. So as you guys know, in uh, one of our last bow videos, I have like a traditional like hunting bow as well. And we actually have some uh, 3D targets now. So I told you guys I was gonna implement more of like my archery journey on YouTube, and you guys really seem like uh, into that. Um, so when we get done bow fishing, cleaning and filleting all the fish, I'm gonna pull my big bow out and we're gonna set these targets up and actually uh, attempt like some 50, 60 yard shots. Just continue to get uh, really familiar with the bow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the GoPros rigged up and uh, hop out here on the pond and see if we can get some good old tilapia for dinner. And see if we can uh, find us one. Hello, hello friend. Maybe next time, maybe next time. <laughs> There, no way, dude. So we have these new arrows that like, they're supposed to expand out so the fish doesn't come off. But the problem is with all the sand, they're not really closing either. So I'm not really sure if they're gonna have like good penetration on the fish, cause they won't like really close all the way. The sand's getting caught in it. But right up here, I saw a really nice one on a bed. So I'm gonna go over there and see if we can get it. All right, here we go. New water, new edge here. It's gonna be super, super easy on this terrain. This is like real hunting now. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, there's some big fish here. Oh, we found the big beds of tilapia. Got this one, got this one. Got him. Finally got one. You're not gonna believe this shot, dude. Dude, right there, headshot, perfect headshot. So, first fish of the day, beautiful tilapia. But um, we had to change our strategy, man. It was like, became more of like a hunt as opposed to bow fishing. And that's part of the, that's one of the things I really love about it is like, you're hunting for the fish. It's kind of the same thing why I love spearfishing, but you can see there's a ridge up here and I just took the high ground finally, instead of like the low ground we've been doing, we came to the opposite side, took the high ground and it had a perfect shot and then smoked it, man. Perfect head shot, that's exactly what you want and uh, a really good eating size fish. So this is a great start. We're gonna go ahead and get this fish on ice and continue around this edge. Um, this is what we want, maybe four or five more of these and have like a really good meal for all of us here. Remember, five fish is 10 fillets, so that's a good dinner. So I'm hiding behind this bush of grass. The tilapia finally came back on the bed. So now I'm gonna attempt to move very slowly and take a shot, but I only get one shot. It's like they know, bro. It's like they 100% know. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. We literally just sat there for like 10 minutes to wait for these fish to get back on beds. And as soon as I pull back, dude, they're just out. They're gone. Hey, Mumu Cal. How's it going? Oh, wow. She actually let me touch her. Okay. 
Bye, Moo Moo Cow. What about you, Moo Moo Cow? Oh, not feeling it. Not, not feeling it. Okay, got it, got it. Bow fishing did not go as planned at all. Uh, actually, pretty bad. Even gave Jack James, who's behind the camera, his brother, Andy, uh, a chance with a bow, and we're both just absolutely sucking. So, we decided to switch it up a bit. We do have one tilapia. Um, so, I mean, at least that's enough. That's two fillets. It's enough to eat. Um, but if you guys saw like my uh, survival video, if you will, when I was on the houseboat, you guys know I have like this solar panel battery pack. Um, so anyway, solar's been sitting out and uh, it's charged up. So we've got this guy. We've got our fillet knife, which is electric and our food saver. It's like the game saver one. I actually really like this. Um, so what I've been doing is every time I get fish, I just clean them and, and uh, bag them up right then and there. Uh, so we have the tilapia in here. Um, but we also had like this idea, like after we clean this stuff up, we also had this idea next time we come out here, we might bring a cast net. I know we said we might cast net, but we just, we changed our mind. So if you guys want to see us cast net literally hundreds of fish out of these ponds, let me know in the comment section below. Actually something easy. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, then, uh, we'll come out here and cast net hundreds of fish, clean them all up and literally have hundreds of pounds of meat, like quite literally hundreds of pounds. So if you guys want to see that 5,000 likes, not a big like goal, something pretty easy. Um, but right now we're going to go ahead and clean this fish. We're already running out of daylight and I still want to shoot the big bow. So I'm going to clean this up and then uh, go get those 3D targets. Got a little better since I've been filleting snapper and permit out on the houseboat, huh? <laughs> a little faster. You know, not too many people who have clean fish out on this pasture, I'm guessing, huh, Jack James? Um, I would like to say that you're the first. You know, we always try to do it different here at Jigging with Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, just like that, two fillets. Got two beautiful fillets right there nice sealed up throw them in the cooler and that is going to wrap it up for our bow fishing extravaganza aka one fish <laughs> pretty bad it really looks like a real uh <laughs> environment for a hog <laughs> right up in the uh <laughs> right up in the mud so we've got a uh, let me go ahead and get this gopro set up but we've got the hog here we've got the deer over there so we got this range finder and I'm ranging Andy 20 yards exactly on this decoy we have heart and the lungs um, so this just gives you like a, a better target to actually shoot off of and from the buck to Andy where I'm gonna be shooting is 30.7 yards so we're gonna do 20s and 30s and then may maybe move the truck and do like 40s and 50s we'll see He's dead. <laughs> Good. Whew. Those are good. All right, let's uh go ahead and we're gonna crank her on up to thirty. We're gonna go out to our our buck out there. Boys, <laughs> we might have to get some range today. Jeez, I feel like Robin Hood today, bro. You know what it was? Yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like I watched enough Cam Haynes today to get me in the zone. <laughs> oh, we got a truck coming on the ridge there. Shoo! Good shooting. I'm proud. Everything touched the heart. All three shots touched the heart. 
We got heart and lungs here. Heart, heart. Dude, that's sick. Smoked them. Yeah, look at that. Take a zoom in. Or not like a crazy zoom in, but a zoom in there. So we got heart, double lung, heart, double lung. We grazed the heart and double lung. So 30 yards right on the money. That's exactly what you want, dude. That's so good. So for our last four arrows, we're gonna do a 50 bomb. And we are going to go for the buck at 50 yards. Again, extremely uncomfortable. Not extremely uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm just not used to shooting this far. So, gonna get right here. Buck is at 49.7. Let's go grab the bow and make it happen, Jack James. Dude, I'm literally shooting in the exact same spot. Top of the lung. Nailed it. Money. <laughs> All right, well, top of the lung gets you a nice heart punch. Let's go check this out. We knew that these shots are garbage. We kept like saying we we're shooting low. Finally, uh, Andy told me as I aim for the top of the lung, it's probably aiming more up here and then got that drop. So I was aiming for the heart and I was getting that drop there, but we just got to tune the bow in, you know, like really just get it more dialed and just kind of make some adjustments on the sight because we're using a one pin, but for 50 yards, I'm not, I'm not upset with that. I've only shot 50 yards twice on the bow and uh, you know, whatever. I will say I started with like 12 arrows and I now legitimately have four since owning my bow. So. Uh, for those of you who are doing this like bow journey with me, don't get the most expensive bows. <laughs> don't don't do it. Trust me. Don't get the most expensive arrows. Oh yeah, don't get the most expensive arrows. Did I say I, I broke four bows? Is that what I was saying? No, you said arrows. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Don't get the most expensive arrow. You know what I meant. All right, guys. Well, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Bow fishing was extremely tough. It honestly did feel like I was hunting on the water today, but um, it was just difficult. We had a lot more luck last time, but I don't know, it was fun. It was really challenging. But like I said, if you guys want to see us come out here with the cast nets, 5,000 likes on this video, we'll make sure to ha make that happen. And I honestly think we can get hundreds of fish, quite literally, we saw so, so many. So they need to get out of here and uh, they reproduce like crazy and they'll choke the whole pond out. So we'll get those tilapia out if you guys want to see that. We ended the day with my actual hunting bow. I, I haven't been hunting with this. If you guys have seen, if you guys haven't watched the previous videos uh, with the bow, uh, it's just something new I'm doing and uh, just kind of something I want to share with you guys. And you guys seem to really like it last time. So today's the first day shooting the uh, 3D targets at some like extended range. Normally 2030 is pretty much what I practice in like the backyard area. So we sent her on out to 50 and got one heart shot out of four, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue to share this with you guys if you guys are interested um, Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. We've got some cool merch out if you guys want to check that out Really appreciate it. It's always linked in the description below and uh, we're gonna make some adjustments to this keep you updated on that and uh, Yeah, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always We'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out you and I till the end. Oh, broke my arrow. Not again. Every time. Dang it, my. That's a freaking expensive, dude. <laughs>